everyone, my name is Steph, this is Little Bookish Teacher and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to review Sea Life by Pete Cromer. Sea Life is a children's non-fiction picture book. It has been written and illustrated by an Australian artist. I first met Pete Cromer at a design market many many years ago and I was immediately intrigued by his collage art style. So he is known for animal collage art and he also has sculpture artwork that he does as well and that was how I first was introduced to his artwork and then a few years ago he started bringing out these amazing children's non-fiction books about animals and sea life is his most recent one and it is all Australian sea life and it is absolutely beautiful the back of the book says discover some of Australia's unique sea creatures through Pete Cromer's bold and beautiful animal portraits this gallery in a book features 18 of his favorite sea animal collages for the first time Pete's Australian sea life paper cut artworks are collected here as a stunning picture book for animal and art lovers of all stages the way that this book is laid out you have one of Pete's beautiful pieces of artwork. And then you have the name of the animal. You have a very simple paragraph of facts about the animal. And then some other little details down the bottom, including a map of Australia where you would find this animal, the animal group name, the scientific name, what a baby version of the animal is called, as well as the collective noun for the animal, if it has one. The reason that I love these nonfiction books is one, because the information text is very, very simple. It's big, it's bold on the page, it uses words that are easy for younger readers to access and to use. It's also a great mental text for showing how you can construct a simple information text. One of the really tricky things when teaching information texts, particularly writing information texts to younger readers, is that they feel like they have to write pages and pages and pages of things. Whereas that's not necessarily the case as they're learning. And so having a mentor text like this makes it very accessible for them. So as I said, it has beautiful artwork. It is an absolutely stunning collection. I really love this. It'll definitely be something that I use, particularly next year as I go back into the classroom and I am teaching information texts. I know that that is coming up and these will be perfect to have on hand. I especially love that this book does feature Australian animals and that these are just a really great starting point for anyone who wants to get into information texts. Even if you're not a teacher or if you don't have kids, but you just appreciate great artwork, these make beautiful gifts for any age. Like they are absolutely stunning. If I take my teacher hat off and just wear my book lover hat, I mean, it's stunning. And if you are unfamiliar with his book series, he has four other nonfiction picture books. Two of them feature Australian animals. So there is Australia. So this features Australian bird life and animals. There is bush life, which features Australian mammals, bird life and lizards. And then he also has two general animal nonfiction titles. So there is wildlife, which features one of my favorite illustrations. I love his tiger and also bird life, which features at birds from around the world. So collectively, these are just an amazing collection of picture books that would be perfect for anyone. So I will leave a link to where you can find more information about sea life and all of his other books down below, as well as his website. He does some incredible art. And I just love that these are books that are coming out now that we have access to and they, they do make great gifts. I have gifted these to some of my American friends and their kids and they are just wonderful, wonderful books. In the comments, I would love to know if you've read any of Pete Cromer's work before, or if you're even familiar with him as an artist. Otherwise, I would love to know what are your favorite recommendations for children's nonfiction titles? Feel free to leave them down in the comments. If you wanna let me know that you're here, but you don't wanna leave a comment, feel free to leave a turtle emoji down below. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.